the revamped podcast hosted by Lindsay Hepner. Rebuilding the digital entrepreneur. Okay, we had to get out of the studio because there's too many of you and <laughs> you're not even all here, which is crazy. But let's introduce the, the family. Go ahead. The man, the myth, the legend, Kimo Kazi, baby, was popping. <laughs> oh like, so that's gross. not necessary. <laughs> the most liked sister, Sarah. Ew. A <laughs> hundred times more. I'm Savvy. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm Serene. I was going to continue, but I'll just leave it at Serene <laughs> for now. I'm Nina, the mommy. I'm Sophie. All right. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. How are you guys today? We're so good. good. Chilling, We're good. Chilling, Thank chilling. you for having us. <laughs> yeah. Thanks I for having like us. Kimo needs his own area. <laughs> I feel like we have like what's, what's the guy that um is a singer and then he's like key to success or whatever. DJ Khaled. <laughs> yeah, I feel like your your persona is like very similar. I'm like, okay. Let's My just mom loves DJ Khaled. She's always saying, I'm going to hook you up with him. I'm DMing him on, on a daily. Like, he's going to answer her. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he, he might. He's, like, such a positive person. I feel like all of you guys are. Like, oh, every time I hang out with you guys, yeah. it's Aww, all positivity. Thanks. So that's good. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Great. Okay. So, for anyone who's listening that doesn't know, uh, Sa- how, we, how we met is Sarah actually reached out to me. Was it Sarah or Serene? Because I know. Sarah. S- okay. Me, yeah. Sarah yeah. reached out to me. I didn't know if it was Serene because Serene, you're like kind behind of the, the scenes. You're the behind the scenes yeah. sister. So um, Sarah reached out to me on Vamped. I don't know. We just like, I, I was like looking at her Instagram. I was like, okay, this girl's so beautiful. Um, very much like and i'm always saying this because you guys do remind me of the kardashians like in like a good way like a family you know all together and stuff but i remember seeing her instagram I'm like how does she have such insane engagement because that's like something that we always look for is like do you have like a very engaged audience and are they commenting and are your posts really good so i was interested right away because of the fact that one you had a presence and two like you had a following that was really interested in what you were doing yeah like and so we talked and then um i think it was like maybe a week later we're like okay let's see we can work together and then i'm like okay where is your engagement coming from (laughs) and you were like well i my brother is really big on tiktok and so i was like you have to show me his stuff and then i went over to his page and i remember being at home i like had a, i just remember the whole situation i was in my bed i was in pjs <laughs> i was like eating mac and cheese i think and i was watching your videos <laughs> and i was dying because <laughs> your pranks with your family were so like i, I feel like pj pg13 mm-hmm. but they were so well scripted you know Thanks. yeah they were so good and i was like oh my gosh i have to meet this whole family i have to work with them like and i feel like that has been my job for the last almost seven years now of like seeking out people that are really good in this space mm. so um we've been working together for i don't know how many months but S- yeah six months yeah six months yeah. now and um i feel like i've you know been getting the whole crew on board so it's been great um but yeah Kimo how did you start like because you're at like some of them are at 40 million views that's insane yeah I guess I got lucky (laughs) (laughs) it was all a plan how I started was honestly it was all music Mm -hmm. I never even wanted to download TikTok when I first saw it I saw like I was on Snapchat and every other slide would be an ad for TikTok and it'd be like I don't know what their slogan is like create your day or something something like that it was just people dancing i was like i don't want to download this but everyone at school was telling me bro download it download it you could do so good i was like i'm not a dancer and they're like you don't need to dance i was like really because i was on vine Mm -hmm. way before okay were you were you big on that platform i was okay so you (laughs) you don't know you don't want to know the same stuff were you doing like i was doing family stuff but not family stuff okay so like completely different yeah i would play the character i'd do everything myself i was a weirdo yeah. At that time, <laughs> no. he was like, he had all these stages. He, I was, I had, he was I had emo. a stage of, I wanted to be a magician. <laughs> I wanted emo. to be a skater. And Spider-Man. I wanted to be Spider-Man. <laughs> I bought, um like, four different shirts from, like, Dick's Sporting Good because they come in, like, 
It, it makes it look really cool. What are those shirts called? The <laughs> like the muscle muscle shirts? shirts. Muscle shirts. Wait. Muscle shirt, like the padding. Yeah. It has like yeah, a padding. padding. Like, He'd actually isn't a muscle shirt man. usually like a tank top? It's not the tank top, but it's it's like a it's costume, like the tight basically. shirt. I don't know what it's you called. You were wearing a costume <laughs> that had padding. That, I, that was from Party City. Padding, muscle but padding. At Dick's Sporting Goods, they would <laughs> yeah. sell like Spider-Man shirts, and it'd be like the full-on, like, yeah. full-on costume or whatever. And I would put them in a suitcase like Spider-Man did, and I'd put it in my closet. And that's all I wore. Wait, how like, old were you at this time? Middle school, probably like. I don't know. Yeah, like, and then and then he had a phase where he'd only ever wear a scarf and he would never take it off. And then his <laughs> Wait, hair, what? His hair yeah. was like slicked down. So like bored <laughs> kind emo of Spider Man. He had like an emo Spider Man vibe. Shut I was up. a weirdo. I said know. It. No, 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 that's amazing. <laughs> we, me and my I friend like, Do you have a picture actually, of this? Do we have a picture I can of this? Yeah, he, he has like. to find. Okay, you have to send a picture so we can like, I wish I had my old Instagram. It was called Spidey Hestry. I thought I was Spider Man. <laughs> I swear it was the weirdest I did not know that. dumbest <laughs> videos and pictures ever. I don't know what was going on there. So what was your vines mostly of? Like like take us through like a actual vine clip or skit that you I did. remember I remember one where it's like when you're home alone. 911. <laughs> that was it. Like, like, like those are the, that's how dumb it was. Like, it was, it was and stupid. then he had his twerking ones. Remember those? Whoa! Yeah, he, whoa, he, he would literally yeah. like he would literally like do the split twerking, and we still have that video. Really? And we just die. We don't need to bring that up, yo. <laughs> we don't need to bring. Why? Yeah, he was yeah. Behind the wop. Yeah, he he, he was just <laughs> really he was really weird. He never really had like a normal phase in his life, <laughs> and that's why I was like talking about this with somebody the other day, yeah. saying how like I feel like the reason he got successful with all this was because like he was never really normal <laughs> like he was always just like so weird like if you met him before before all of this like when he was younger yeah he just like was not like um no he was like he wasn't kid. he just wasn't regular no he just <laughs> he, i think with chemo he, something in his brain he loves to like relate to everybody so yeah. he will like morph himself into like doing I don't know just acting a, a certain way with a somebody yeah. so that the, he can you know relate yeah, with that's them true. I always see myself do that with like yeah it depends on who I don't the think it's a is, negative I will thing I turn myself into like a person they can relate to oh, does that make sense yeah no for sure I feel like your content is relatable you yeah. know everyone that's at home can be like if they have a big family like oh god we do that with our family I know yeah. I know my content's super relatable because it's like a lot of people have obviously siblings mm -hmm. and it started off with pranking my mom, but now I really focus on the family aspect because I know that will always last and that will always like blow up or yeah. people can relate to because I make my sisters look mean. No, that's, that's their mean. Okay. <laughs> and they're like, I don't want to like, You do that organically. They're like, I don't want to be mean anymore. I want to be nice. I was like, Sabi, Sada, Serene, if you be nice, no one's going to care because siblings aren't nice. Like it's the <laughs> truth. Yeah. Like, but we're never nice actually though. <laughs> Like yeah. I came up to them in one video and I, I just went up to them and went, I love you. And I saw that one. And they, were, and they were like, wait, could we do it again? I was kind of mean. Can we just, can I like actually say I love you? I was like, no, like yes, the the really say I love you back. <laughs> like, on, on that one. So we're talking about a TikTok that you did and you just like filmed them from afar and you were just saying something nice yeah, to them and I, they were reacting to exactly. it did you guys know he was filming no, we no. never know when he starts doing it but then when we realize he was filming we're always like wait, wait can we please do that again like <laughs> yeah, please I, let us do that again like <laughs> please don't post that because yeah. sometimes like we're really actually like vicious and we're mean yeah, and like yeah. i don't want like people to see that like i look like i'm like the one video that so actually crazy. blew up his account was yeah. the the video where i had just showered i was in my room just chilling and he comes in with a water bottle and he's like, the singing look one, inside. Right? I'm like, are you no, stupid? Not, not oh, the different one. way. I was like, I'm not gonna look inside the bottle. I know you're gonna like spray it on me, and yeah. he just sprayed it all over me, my whole bed, everything. And right after ball. her, he she got was my like, mom. Oh my god! I turned around, my mom was right there. Boom! My sister came out. What's going on? Boom! I ran to the <laughs> other room. Boom! I got everyone. Oh, it was, it was like, hilarious. I didn't see that. It one. was like all girls yes. popping out of everywhere. Yeah. The everywhere. next day, like my Instagram yeah. blew up. His TikTok. That video blew went viral. Oh my god! And what was very smart about it, I followed it up with like another viral video so the water one went 20 million and then the next video went 40 million wow so that's one day i really got i really got lucky but i knew that i had to be consistent with it because if you have a viral video you can't just let it sit and hope it grows more you have I, to give it more content i don't think it was it. that you were lucky i think it was um not only because of quarantine it was right when everyone was sitting home yeah, yeah. and no one was going out no one was yeah. working so everyone was on their phones and, they were and like also i think them. like tiktok is a platform literally just to be silly be like silly. it's if you're, literally it, vine but better no yeah because on on instagram the difference is like there's a standard on instagram mm -hmm. you know i feel like everyone's like 
is this Instagram worthy? Like, should mm-hmm. I post this? Yeah. But on TikTok, you don't feel that. You know, yeah. I feel like you go viral just by being yourself. Yeah, by TikTok. Being, like weird by being silly by posting things that like everyone's like oh my god that's literally me like yeah. I, I relatable the difference yeah. between instagram and tiktok i think is what she would say like instagram worthy or whatever but tiktok's community is so supportive mm-hmm. it's like whatever you want to do whatever you want to be less silly judgment you, yeah it's less judgment it's like lol or it's never hate. yeah it really never is and tiktok's organic reach is amazing i think that's why maybe tiktok was doing so well during quarantine because yeah you know instagram has evolved into not only highlights now but like serious issues and like mm-hmm. vulnerability mm-hmm. issues mm-hmm. where like you want to you want to put out still like a highlight of content but like a serious highlight of right. content yeah. whereas when you go on to tiktok you feel more um inclined to just let your hair down mm-hmm. and be like okay i could post like, whatever yeah it's like not yeah. political nothing like mm-hmm. everyone can just be themselves mm-hmm. whether it's goofy stupid or whatever mm-hmm. and you kind of just laugh at it at it and mm-hmm. have like yeah less of a serious kind of reaction to it yeah Yeah. so i agree i think i think a lot of people did thrive during that time obviously you've been building crazy and so is the family i mean all the support of you guys but when when was it where you transitioned your um vine content to now like involving the family like what was what was like the process of like i need to change it now to make it family in- incorporation so my like vine con so when i first started tiktok it was kind of like my old vine content it was just random videos of me i put literally anything on there because my friend told me like i put a random video on it and it had a million views i watched yeah. the video i was like dude this is nothing like what is yeah. this video right so i thought like okay well maybe i could just throw on a bunch of stuff and that's what i did and one video of me i took like two years ago and it was me and my friend at a restaurant and he was pretending to be the waiter and i was like yo bro here's a 600 dollars tip <laughs> and he was like thanks <laughs> but it never showed him so i threw it on there and people thought it was real and it went like a million semi-viral views. Well, oh and, and that like, was the first one that yeah. was the first one that went like you know, viral that's or when he realized like oh but, shoot like i can get a good amount of views on here if yeah I that's it. when i realized that but i never went after it because i was always focused on music and i didn't think like tiktok was going to help with that but mm-hmm. obviously TikTok yeah, music anywhere, music, yeah. exposure anywhere is so good for you. It was with Serene. We were upstairs and I just got a new phone because I always break my phone. And I had an old phone that was already cracked. And I was like, Serene, this is perfect. Mom and Baba are both downstairs. I have a funny idea. I'm gonna go down there. Can you sit on the couch, videotape them? I'm gonna come with the old phone, throw a book on the floor, and tell Baba I broke it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was she like, was like no. Why? This is stupid. Like, I, like, I want to watch my Netflix and chill. I'm not <laughs> doing this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went downstairs, and my mom's reaction is literally her reaction. She's like, literally punching the air. This is what my mom is like. <laughs> yeah. And people are like, no way. This is not your. This is this is stage. This is fake. And it's like, it was no. one take. My mom was <laughs> just having her. fun. And she's yeah. punching the air like <laughs> she's just, just like, fighting she with herself. Get him. Like I, when we watch it, we're like what the hell like, why, oh my god why do yeah. people like this yeah it was funny because funny. i threw it on in the same night maybe an hour it was at 10k and i was like mama the video's at 10k she's like what 10, 000? 10 000? <laughs> yeah. and then the next morning it kept growing it kept growing and i remember walking around school like yeah <laughs> so, wait, so nina during this time when this was like growing you know and this was like still new like TikTok's still I I think of it as being a new platform for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like what were you I, I mean, you seem very supportive about all your children and whatever they want to do yeah. just by getting to know you that one night we had dinner Thanks. at five <laughs> different areas of the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like but, time to move. Yeah, yeah. I was like <laughs> to the this fireplace. Is amazing. <laughs> My I'm great so time cool. To move. <laughs> but we we keep we, we were at I was at um their house and we had dinner or we had snacks first mm-hmm. in the living room and then we had dinner in a patio sitting and then we had dessert and a and fire, pit. Yeah. <laughs> fire pit i was like this is awesome this is great <laughs> but um when he started blowing up and you know in his own sense of it what did you think about the platform i mean as a mom are you thinking okay this is a way he can build a business or what were you just like this is fun for him i'm excited for him what what was your thoughts on this yeah i was thinking in the beginning like uh, he want he wanted to do it like really badly he was having fun with it and he was like expressing himself so and with my little bit sense of humor i thought 
I will help him, you know? Aww. So I said, okay, Karim, we'll go with it. We start with the first one. I was like cracking up on myself. Like I said, oh my God, but I forgot the slipper. I should shoot you with the slipper. Where is it? <laughs> but then he came, he said, mama, we should continue doing some uh, pranks and uh, I'm gonna prank you sometimes. And sometimes we're gonna do like, uh, whatever it's a trend on tiktok Challenge. so he, he uh, challenges kind of, oh so he kind of like let you know like this is going to be happening a lot <laughs> yeah, well, just I didn't, for the I challenges you know like we did challenge and then how many challenges we I did i didn't really let her know i just did it and yeah. then she got the hang but of it the pranks, <laughs> it was like uh, like one time i was leaving the like he was knocking on the door and i opened nobody outside i closed the door and then i thought uh, ups or uh, somebody mail I open again, nobody, then I said, I'm gonna kick who's <laughs> on the door. I went and he dropped water. all the water on me. <laughs> then I was like going, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, so oh, really? did, uh, knowing that he was filming that, were you okay? Like in the initial? No, this one, I didn't know he was filming. But like, were you okay? Like, like being that upset? at your child and he was gonna like yeah, post but it my, you know like, i always get upset this second only like, yeah and then the she list, watches the then, video and then i and then is she laugh. okay with are you okay with yeah. it like in the initial like because i would be like you know how you were like terrified like can we do this again yeah. yeah i don't want anyone to think i'm a mean person or whatever were you terrified when he started posting you and like you were upset all the time uh, no i did i didn't feel that because i'm always I feel it's like just fun natural. and joke and natural and this is my personality actually like yeah. I don't feel shy uh, when it comes to fun things like my mom, I my mom knows my, uh, she's a professional I'm always with my friend like that <laughs> I always like like to she joke she knows around. that she carries I, chemo's page yeah. Yeah. she knows so I, <laughs> I said, mean you do I yeah. mean you are Can you I are leave? a huge but she's <laughs> always like she's like I want to be an actress like she yes. says that she's an actress yes. in a different see life. See you I guys. Thank you, Kimo. <laughs> she like goes, when finally I'm you see. When I was 50 years old, you helped me to get famous. Thank you. Like, finally you see who, I, I, who your mother is. She oh. tells us that all yeah, the time. She does <laughs> she, All the she comments are like, your mom, your mom. She like comes to us. She goes, see your mother. <laughs> oh my so literally, I, I always think about this moment. Like it was maybe two years ago, a year and a half ago. My mom came up to me and she's like, I'm going to put my Instagram page on public. Public. I think <laughs> Pub public. I think, public. I public. think I'm going to get a lot of followers. I think a lot of people will follow me. I'm going to be famous I on Instagram. Be and I was like, ma like in my head, I didn't want to be mean, but I was like, yeah. it's never going to happen. <laughs> like, why would they follow you though? Like, what do you have to <laughs> What offer? do you even post? Like, what do you post? You know what? Like, in, in Nina's and then she has more followers in than In Nina's you. defense, my mom was the same way. She would always come to me and be like, I don't know how to use the computer. I'm like, God, just figure it out. Yeah. It's so easy. She'd write down every single time with me, like, okay, this is how you turn it on. And then she'd come the next day and be like, okay, how do I use the computer? I'm like, I can't. Just go to Apple. <laughs> next thing you know it, I, we didn't talk about it again. Next thing you know it, she comes to me and she goes, I made a YouTube channel. And I was like, cool. Like, Aww. good for you. You she know? Did. She's at 14 million views what? per wow. video. <laughs> and I was like, I helped you Never on that. I helped me. you on that. I forced you to go figure it out. She's like, no, you didn't. App Apple did. Oh my Apple God. helped me. Credits, so. Apple. Yeah, but my mom thinks she's famous now. And well, she's like, yeah, 14 yeah, she's, million. Yeah, she's like 250 subscribers. Oh, that's amazing. On um, for her. YouTube. But, y you know, I really, Kim, I'm sorry, but I really do feel like your mom is a huge reason. No, she for is. Sure. She is. Thank you like, so much. Yeah. No, I always uh, encourage him because uh, he is the only, like, I have five girls. None of them like my personality. Mm -hmm. They're all, they're all like, um, uh, everything you say, you tell them, you uh, you talk to them about, they are very serious. Like, no, Karim, the serious. only one, he is no. like, he's, uh, he's fun, you know, yeah. he's fun. He take... Uh, I think my sisters yeah, are just he's, like... He's, he likes to joke too, around like too, me. Like, and, oh my God, where and when? That's, why <laughs> that's <laughs> not true. Yeah. That is not true. Yeah. You post the most embarrassing you things You better put a filter on that. <laughs> uh. yes, exactly. He comes, yes, at, he comes exactly. to us when we're looking like exactly. our worst. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're like, we just sleeping. finished our skincare. We're like, like going to bed. Yeah, like, like, he comes to, with a flash on our face. Like, like no, I We know millions them, of people are seeing uh, this. Like, it's because no. I can't yeah, get them. Don't be shy or don't be embarrassed. Like, uh, uh, be natural. I can Who never get them at the right time. They're always busy. They're always doing something. I try to get Sarah in the morning. She's like, no, you're not posting that. My eyes are puffy. I'm like, what? She's like, I'll come back and do it at night. She comes 
comes back at night. I'm going to my room. I'm tired. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, what? I'm gonna get you like yeah, when yes. you're ugly. I don't and care. He does. He comes into my room, creeps in there, and does something to me. Oh, yeah, I said, she tell me, oh my ma, oh my god, mama, all your posts with the mask, you should tell him to remove it. I said, no, why? What mask? All face mask. mask, uh, face face mask. mask. Oh. Like I said, I because don't care. they're purple. Just, like <laughs> why not? It's, like a, a it's hilarious. Like she I, looks like. Uh, what, what is that dinosaur? But he deleted the one. You know, the eggs. It's um, eggs Barney? Barney. 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 There was a. I have all yeah. different kind Party. of mic. Yeah, so There's, I don't know. You never know like it, why the video would go viral, like what she did yeah, or no, what she's wearing. You true. told her to take off a, a mask she was wearing. She was wearing a green mask. <laughs> and when she got mad at me, her face was green, so she was like the Hulk. And that's <laughs> all the comments. And that's why the video blew up because, oh, it's the Hulk or whatever. That They made a meme out of the video. Did so, they really? Not They didn't make a meme out of it, but that's what people were paying attention to the it's most it's also yeah. the things she says she says things like she says her things actions are, like, are hilarious it's just a she's little cussing. thing oh bad yeah. words in like arabic um, <laughs> <bad> <laughs> words. Yeah. is yeah. there a, a lot of can, yeah. moms like that like syrian moms that are very like no yeah. no yeah. No, yeah. no that's that, that's that's well, what no. sets mama apart because a lot of the syrian moms are like very conservative just mm -hmm. arab mom in general like, no one do, none of our no one will do what my mom does on camera but i'm pretty sure all arab moms have the same reaction if they're mad that's they, why they, they all might like have the same reaction, but they'll never like show, show it. Show it. Yeah. Show it. Yes. That's why they. Nobody my mom blew up. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's like very composed. I would composed, think. Of, yeah, yeah, composed and, and like, like they just. Yeah, they're more quiet. But my mom is like. <laughs> in public too, not just at home. Yeah. In public, <laughs> yes. No. Nah, in front know. of people. <laughs> no. What in public? I, I didn't say scream that. Scream and yell in it's, public. It's yes. public. 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 Yeah. Just, public. just her talking on the phone in public is like people think she's screaming and fighting. With really? People on the phone. Yeah. She has a loud voice. But it's just voice. like her normally talking. And we I tell her she... all the time, "Mama, you're really loud." And then sh her excuse is, "I'm deaf in one ear." <laughs> <laughs> she's not. She's not deaf in any ears. No, like our friends will come over and my mom will be on the phone talking to whoever, just talking. Yeah. And then they'll be like, "Should we come back like a different time?" Like, I, no, my mom. She's just out. talking. Like she's not fighting. She's normal. Like, <laughs> she's normal. like please <laughs> stay. Like, yeah. They like think she's fighting. <laughs> Wait, so Kimo, uh, take us through like a day of TikTok because I think a lot of people want to know like what is the process of TikTok for you? Okay, for me, well, my TikToks are different than other people's because it's obviously family. So I'd have, it's not only me, mm -hmm. it's my whole family. So a day in my life of making a TikTok is actually very, very difficult <laughs> considering that she has work in the morning, she has work in the morning. I don't know what she does. And then she's in her teenage <laughs> phase where she's like, don't talk to me. Like, I'm like okay, whatever. It's true. So, yeah, it's like you have to find a schedule of eight people in order to make a video. So Sarah and Serene leave around like nine, nine thirty, ten, mm -hmm. ten max. And they don't come back till seven. So I wake Got up it. at eight to get ready, figure out the idea. Wait, no. And what he's doing is at 8 o'clock to 9.30, he's doing his hair. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. The blow dryer. <laughs> what he's 10 doing hours, he's doing for something. For an hour and a half. I've always had trouble with my hair, but it's all right. Okay. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, and this is really funny, but I have a client um, who saw a picture of you and was like, what is up with the kids these days with their <laughs> hair? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, that's the first thing he said. Honestly, a lot of yellow? people tell me, like, my, my cousin tells me, she's like, why don't you just buzz it? Or why don't you do a nice comb over look? And in the it's same time, nest. I can do that. But I like this because it's different. Like if you, if I <laughs> walk true. in public, it's you'll mop. know me it's from mop. my that's hair. True, you know that's true. That's true. I mean? Yeah. Like the weekend. It's Remember his huge hair? Yeah, it's a signature. That's, like, that's his thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to do. I want to perm it again. I had it permed. And that's when I think you showed your friend that yes. picture. It yeah. looks fried. <laughs> well, okay. you know what? These are really important things to make you stand out too. Yeah. Like as like your brand, exactly. this is yeah. your I hair be, is your brand. My biggest part is I'm trying to transition everything to music, but also keep the, I want to do music the most, but I don't want to be the, Oh, the prank guy that does music. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I want to yeah. be taken serious, but it's all about the image and mm -hmm. I don't want to, no, I can't do music and be like this rapper with a comb over. You know what I mean? Yeah. G easy can, but I'm not G easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know. I, I got to perm my hair again. So, it's, so. it's funny because it looks like he just woke up, but he spent like three hours on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I what? don't do anything. <laughs> I want to know what he does. He just like touches it like. 
I like shower. Three hours. Looking at it, each like each strand, strand. Like, <laughs> one by one. Can you please does do a, a TikTok on I that? I literally or just like I, 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 sh- your hair. I shower. Yeah. I put my hair to this, like I open hair it up. You I open it up like it's a nest. I crunch <laughs> it up and I wait till it dries and I crunch it up more. Yeah. I, you know what I, I tell. Every morning he collect two, three eggs, and we we have them. And then he uses them as his pranks and throws them on the ground. Thanks God. Thanks God that he takes them out. We don't need to go to Costco every. Every morning we have four eggs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not no, a mess. I, 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 can't, I cannot. I tell Kimo all the time. I actually, like, he thinks I, I'm being mean, but I just tell him, like, Look at all these TikTok boys. I thought you were going to say all these eggs. No. <laughs> all these <laughs> chicken. chickens. All these chicken. You could no. make an Irwan. That's a vibe. Yes. No, I tell him, like, all of these other TikTok influencers, okay, that air in the Sway House, in the Hype House, whatever you call them, all, they do literally... A dance for three seconds they look kind of sexy and then like 50 million views yeah and i'm like you need to look cute like yeah. please fix your hair <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know. okay cute. make girls he like looks you. like crusty in all his and videos i'm like you no, can have no, a fangirl no, base no, if you just tried to look cute i look cute but i don't want to be the guy that dances and takes off his shirt you know yeah. <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> be the guy on the ground <laughs> <laughs> like this. i did that pretty good though i did see that i was like oh, no I, I can't watch this but that's definitely what sets you apart from everybody else on TikTok. He doesn't make a TikTok. He makes a short film. Like I look cute literally though. everything okay. is like I don't look ugly. I no, okay. look cute. Mm. <laughs> okay, you're cute. I, I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> when you can when do I Instagram look at poll. the content, it's it's clean. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in the sense that like, okay, you didn't have to use like anything sexual or anything like that to make content. You know, like yeah. Yeah. and I feel like that has more longevity than like, hey, this is, you know what I mean? Here's like my it's wink. just, it's really, really good content. And you guys stand out so much just in that. Like nothing had to be over the top. Like, hey, check this out, of, you know, body yeah. parts it's or whatever. Just it's just like, content. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, really good. And, and I think that's what makes you guys more and more watchable because yeah. the fact that you guys aren't like that, you mm-hmm. guys are being real, you're getting real reactions. Um, everyone, feels like together in it Mm -hmm. and um you know just going back to what we were talking about i mean since you have to wait on the family a lot like how are you what are you doing during the day that's making you have to like build this content and this idea all i all i literally do is think about ideas watch other people in my bracket um figure out timing i spend like four hours on tiktok just to catch on to the new trends Okay, and so what are the new trends like this well, month? This month, okay, so you have the WAP, obviously. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the- a trend that took over everything. Just like last month was the Taylor Swift thing, where people went back and all that. So the trends this month is there's the WAP one, and honestly, I don't even what? know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of make, make up your own my own so, trends yeah. too. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Because like when I look at trends, so like even on reels, which is on Instagram, the new, I guess, TikTok, right? But for Instagram, yeah. Um, what, how do you feel about that? Because I, it's crazy that so many people can do the same thing over and over, but you still get addicted to watching the same thing yeah. over and Yeah, but you have to over. think about like how long is that going to last, you know? Yeah. Because like. That's why the trends change every day. The trends least. change, but people do it in the same way you know what no, i mean no i think that's why it's entertaining because people do it in different ways yes but it's the same see, content. you see the way it's the same song you're hearing over and over and over again but you you see it in a different aspect like the wop someone made it a cappella yeah and yeah like, this for is ex- me singing yeah. for it example wedding, like, oh, there's yeah. a new yeah, song that that's out on tiktok it goes i like you i don't give a fuck about your boyfriend yeah. come on this link can do what i do okay so the trend is a guy would show a picture of a girl Mm -hmm. and be like, I like you. And then the picture would change to her and her boyfriend. And he'd be like, I don't give a about your boyfriend. Come on, let's link that. That's all it was. Yeah. I did that. But in the video, I literally remixed remixed it it and I started adding my own verse onto it. Mm -hmm. It's sick. It's a dope. So now he's rapping on TikTok. (laughs) I'm doing remixes to popular songs, which I think is a really good idea to transition slowly into music. So, so from my question, (laughs) Yeah, what do you guys think about like the repetition do you do you get annoyed by it or do you think it's really good like that's a, a cool way of how tiktok can keep living you know because when i look at it i'm like okay we've seen this i've seen mm-hmm. this i've seen this i don't want to watch it again mm-hmm. but a lot of people obviously love it it's yeah. like yeah. A why don't we ask kind of thing yeah, i don't know yeah, she's Sophie, on tiktok that's on 12 TikTok. hours a day 
You're on TikTok 12 hours a day. Is that what your phone says? She like you've been on. Room. Sophie would show me TikTok from like a year ago, and I was like, delete this app. Like you cannot sit on this app. It was music for this song. That's it what. was yeah, but she she knows TikTok no, from for, for a while. She wasn't on it, and I was like, oh, you're not on TikTok anymore. She's like, I finished all of TikTok. Yeah, she watched every <laughs> video on TikTok. She's like, I finished it all. Like, wait, wait, did you like say you TikTok? have finished? Yeah, yeah. you reached the end. end. Reached the end you of TikTok. reached the end. Of Please TikTok. come back tomorrow. <laughs> No other videos. Literally, she's like, "Yeah, I, I'm done. I finished it today." And she knows all the dances. Like what? she knows them all. You know all but of she them. Won't post she's them. just not a poster. I'm not, I don't really like to dance. I'm not a good dancer, but I like to keep up with like all the famous people, like Charlie, Addison, <laughs> and I like to watch them dance because it's just like. Is it entertaining? It's entertaining to like me and like my people my age. Gen Z. To watch mm-hmm. people like dance in like cool ways and like. But what do you? What do you she, get out of it? Like, what do you think? I think what did you learn cringe? after finishing TikTok? Like, was it annoying to keep hearing the same song, the same trend? Watching over Charlie D'Amelio like, do the same dance like three no, times. I don't even think about it. People do it different ways. Charlie Dance is like really like elite dancing. Yeah, and then really good. other people do like just silly dancing. And it's just like different people. Yeah. So different. do you guys feel that? The good thing about repetition of TikTok is if you're trying to get into the space, Mm -hmm. you can just recreate something that's already happening and hoping Mm -hmm. you blow up from that from that trend, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that would be Mm -hmm. the ultimate goal of it. Yeah. Or if you hear it later on, like two, three weeks from now, if you hear that song again. And if he was the top video on that, I would think of him. Yeah. Yes. Or so like, you yeah, I think of the Taylor Swift one and I think of this girl that did it. Like, and, I'll, it. and I'll think of that face and that person. Because they did and it the best. Like, yeah, and they did it the best. And then and sometimes you want to like go back and check up on them. Like, let me yeah. see what else they do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so that's, that's really interesting to think because if anyone's trying to get into the space of TikTok, a, a good start would be actually just seeing what a trend is right now. For sure. And recreating that and yeah. trying to be the best at it. Yeah. And does it matter... Um, on i mean every single platform has algorithms Mm -hmm. i mean obviously you've mastered algorithm on tiktok what is the type of like when you post your repetitive dance or whatever that's something similar to someone else's like what's the time when do you post like how do you keep it consistent it's all about experience experiencing with the app because just like instagram it'll tell you the top time to post yeah that it tells you that on tiktok but it doesn't really matter on tiktok because on TikTok as it's for you page. So if you post at 1 p.m. and that's when all your followers are active and you post at 8 p.m. at night and your followers aren't active, there's still a huge chance to get on the for you page. Oh, OK. And what's the for you page for people that don't know what that is? So the for you page is literally TikTok. It's I'll tell you exactly how to get onto it. Okay, it's kind of like the popular page. <laughs> yeah, on, it's like the popular page on Instagram. It's, okay, like, so it's, it's like the everything. explore page. Got it. Okay, page, perfect. Yeah. But Katie, you post at 12 and 4 so all the time. So I right? would always post randomly. I post one of my most viral videos was at 9 p.m. Got it. The first video that blew up with my mom was at 10 p.m. So it's okay. really just experimenting with the times. But even till this day, I still look up like September updates for TikTok or like I just watch videos nonstop on YouTube on how to, you know, master the algorithm or figure out how to get on the for you page. So I think well, like with with being go- going viral, um, I don't think I think it's when you least expect it. Well, like TikTok not, the ones that are its... least planned are the ones that always go viral, and not only for you, for a lot of people. I've watched a lot of videos, and they're saying like this video. I put like four seconds of effort into it. I didn't even care about this video, and it and blew that up. Was the ones so it's not about like timing. I think I think it's about the law of averages how much are you posting a day Got if you it. post 10 you have a better chance at yeah, one of them blowing yeah that's up. true yeah. but yeah. also you can't just post because in the beginning tiktok would work as it'll make random videos blow up mm-hmm. like there there was a guy that put popcorn in a bowl put it in a microwave and it had 20 million views that was it tiktok doesn't do that anymore it really focuses on content so it's mm-hmm. not going to push yeah. out anything in order to get on the for you page it has to have in like i think an 85 percent watch time it has to have a high watch time so if your video is a minute you need to have at least 40 seconds watched. Got it. And the best time to keep your video is 20 to 30 seconds. 25 seconds is Got a great it. time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's about watch time and your g- engagement rate. If you have, a, I think, a 30% engagement rate, it'll push it out. And okay. the way it works is it's not going to push it out to everyone. It pushes out to a small crowd. And if that small crowd Cheers. interacts with it well... A bigger crowd and a bigger and a bigger and a bigger crowd. <laughs> yeah, but Take your notes. My whole team is like... Well, we have this recorded, but <laughs> <laughs> no. And I, I was on a walk with Seema the other day, our yeah. youngest sister. She's like 
his little minion yeah because i was walking so with cute. her with our dog and then all of a sudden like her timer goes off like shut an alarm and then it was exactly like 8 8 p.m or something and she goes oh my god are we almost home and i was like why she's like we have to walk hurry faster and i was like why she's like i have to post kadeem's video at eight like she like works her <laughs> she's the assistant yeah she's she, the assistant okay. i don't know where she's, he was she's the youngest i don't know where sibling. he was but yeah. she's like hurry up she? she started running she's the youngest she's like sibling but she has the best phone out of all of us i don't do <laughs> any of my filming on yeah, my phone like the all my editing all my filming all my posting he steals her phone, phone. poor girl so bad for oh my god old. that's so <laughs> cute though but also too it's getting her discipline you know yeah i mean she's learning discipline she has a little responsibility she's starting her tiktok too which is good yeah yeah, Wait, so I think like the number one thing for anyone trying to get on TikTok, like in my opinion, is just keep posting. Consistency. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not one video a day. You really want to catch on to the trend. You want to catch on the trend. You want to build way. a fan base. You want people to understand your personality, whether you're like a comedian. On TikTok, there's like different sectors mm -hmm. the, the comedians, the prankers, the dancers, the cooking, makeup. Mm -hmm. the makeup. makeup. Like, mm -hmm. you have to find your niche, I guess, and yeah. then just like really be yourself the on that on it yeah. and then yeah, um yeah. the more you post yeah the, the better chances you have of like I, I one of them i think that's with anything the more you work yeah. at something the more you more people see you anyways mm -hmm. you know it's like true. the harder you work the harder and it shows mm -hmm. you're so consistent and i noticed even too that you actually use all your platforms to heighten TikTok. Exactly. For instance, like bringing it over to Instagram and yeah. showing and the, the weekly hi highlights yeah. and swipe yeah. up and kind of tell us what you do there because I noticed that and I love that because like I almost feel like I try not to miss any of your videos because <laughs> like I really enjoy them. I, Thank you. Like I love you guys so much <laughs> and, and a lot of times I, I even tell other uh, talent we work with, I'm like, I can't watch The Bachelor. Like I see you in a different light. But in TikTok with you guys, I love the dynamic. And when I was over at your guys' house, I'm like, oh, I get to actually just feel like I, I'm there with you because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I enjoy all you of you so guys. You were so scared to get pranked. <laughs> I was so scared. I walked in thinking, like, I'm going to eat an egg. I swear, right I, I have like, the chocolate-covered eggs ready. Get water on my face. Like, my I was mom so wouldn't afraid. let me bring out the chocolate-covered eggs. Was he, I mean, I would have done it, <laughs> okay. you know, but I was so nervous. I'm like, am I going to go in the bathroom and there's going to be peanut butter on the toilet paper? Like, there's just going to be something crazy and... <laughs> but no, I, I really want people to know that, you know, you need to really utilize all your platforms yeah. and that's how you, you create a bigger audience on all platforms is you're huge on TikTok. Um, you're still big on, I mean, your, your engagement on Instagram is insane. It's yeah. almost to the level of how, how big your following following is. I, I just hit 2 million. Yeah, and you, but your your inst IG story views are like six hundred. Yeah, yeah Holy which is crap. insane. I'm like three hundred now. Yeah, and like it's, it's really so high. Yeah, it's yeah. really good, but I know a way to make it so much higher. But <laughs> tell us, no tell one will us. listen to me. It's just we are listening. It's us. We're it's, here. We're listening. It's my family. It's literally just constantly filming, posting, together. and okay. together. Here, the, thing the thing they we do, we have jobs. The exactly. thing they do. Yeah, the, here's the thing. I I have a job, so <laughs> I get paid. Like, I, he I thinks get we paid. don't have lives. Yeah. I get yeah. paid for Listen. my job. When I make a viral video for you, or when you get an ad and you get paid for that ad and you use me <laughs> to go viral, do I get a cut? No, that that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. Do I get a cut? It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Okay. I get he nothing. Us. Okay. And then we go to Yogurtland <laughs> yesterday, and he goes, can you pay for me? And I'm like, you got three, th I don't know how much money I don't want to say. Okay, you got listen. so much listen. money, and you can't we buy can, your own yeah. Yogurtland. He Whatever. steals money from all of us. Listen, like, oh, I'm, money. I'm saving can, you. you. I'm not even 18. Like, he doesn't use any of his money. I love that. He's like, I'm not even 18. Like, oh, now you're responsible. He went to Gucci like a month ago and spent all his money. My dad like killed him. He's like, you're already spending your money. Of TikTok, yeah. yeah. Let's see him. Because of Let me TikTok. see. They're TikTok not even. Not I don't know why team. he chose TikTok those. Like his first paycheck, that's that? what he goes and gets. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why'd you put the flash on the shoe? <laughs> These shoes were twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, we're yeah. done. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's glitter. <laughs> okay, but listen. She's yeah. saying. <laughs> she's saying. She's saying like. <laughs> you used me in the TikTok. What do I get out of it? Okay, the more you film with me. Sarah films with me a lot, and Sarah's personality is funny, and she's pretty, so she grew the most. She's mm -hmm. almost at a million followers. Am I followers. not pretty? So now, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> so now she's making her own money. So she helps me. I help her by giving her, like, you know, the exposure, and Clout. then she helps herself because now she's getting her deals. Serene could do that too, but she barely films. Sabi does that too, I but film all the they time. don't. Serene, one day. I film with you all the time too. Yeah. I, what I love the most was Serene and Sabi said, 
no, actually, we should start taking it serious. We need a film. We need a film. Our yeah, engagement I tell you that needs all the to time. start going higher and higher. Then the next day, they're like, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Like, <laughs> okay, no, but the thing about him like, is he's super last minute. He'll be like, he'll wake up. He'll come to our room, wake us up, and be like, what are you doing today? Like, he tells us how the same How is that last single, minute? I'm getting you second. right before like, you get out of bed. I, I, I have plans today or something. Like, you don't you don't plan out. You don't plan out anything. Like, my mom said, don't fight now. I don't know. In the car. Well, I feel, like, I feel like you guys already know that he wants to work every yeah, day. Yeah, even my mom, so, bro. My mom is like, she'll, she'll get up. She'll be awake at eight and she'll be sitting on the couch till 11 in her cheetah pajamas. <laughs> cheetah drinking pajamas. Her coffee. Yeah, her coffee. I'm like, mama, what are you doing? Get up, please. She's like, stop. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, fine, I'm going after I'm just begging you. She goes in her room 30 minutes in there. I'm That's like, the okay. funny thing. He has I'm to like, beg. I'm like, all yes, the time. she's, she's most likely already done. I walk in there. She's hi. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> ah. She's still in her pajamas. She's not ready. I'm like, mom, I have to post this video in 30 minutes, film it and edit. Please hurry up. And she's like, okay, get out of my room. I'm like, no, I'm not getting out of your room. Give me your phone. I take her phone. She gets ready. It's just a whole hassle. And then she'll go downstairs and be like, I have an appointment. Then she'll yeah, like, and then she'll be like, I have an appointment. Crying. Why like, do you tell me last minute? I'm like, what? <laughs> last minute? I think, I think. You know, we do this every day. <laughs> it's like Groundhog's Day for you, You guys are all. That's like, literally what? every day. I think and a lot I of created- people don't realize, like, when they watch us, not knowing us, they think like we're all just at home sitting all the time doing, doing nothing. nothing. We have full-time jobs. Exactly. She's a full-time student, and Kimo actually just started college. So not a lot of people th- like will realize that. Yeah. We, I- if you care about TikTok and if you care about like blowing up, you really need to make Stay time. consistent. Yeah, yes. you have to find the time. I, well, I I commend you for waking up in anxiety probably yeah. every day and every be like day. how am it's i gonna do thing. this <laughs> but this that's is why his hair is like that <laughs> <laughs> I don't got time, yo. but this is showing like you know whoever's listening like you really need to commit to it you, you need to. to commit to it the opportunities in your face take it like you know yeah. What I mean? yeah at the same time we barely sleep though because he's till 3 a.m on xbox like oh you suck like <laughs> screaming <laughs> at every night every night and eating chips like he's like literally no like, no he's he talks weirdo. like pop smoke while he plays yeah i did so okay so we played call of duty i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but when you play call of duty like it's just a bunch of t- trash talk. Yeah, so it's a bunch all of people trash. cussing you out, saying you suck. I play with my friends. It's the only time I get to talk to my friends at night. So I hop on till three, wake up at eight mm-hmm. every night, and my friends talk trash, talk trash, and I do the funniest thing. So just do your go, do your voice. I go. <laughs> just do it. Do it. Do it. You hear it all night long. I'm like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> <Do it. laughs> so they're just talking, 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 and I'm like, hey, yo, what's all the foolery going on over here? <laughs> I don't like how you talking. You better act respectful. I got your IP address on locks, boy. <laughs> like, oh, man. But like louder, but way louder, way louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funniest yeah, part, yeah, yeah, the funniest you're part so, they're yeah. like, oh, Pop Smoke's in the lobby. Like, because I do this voice. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I start rapping. And they're like, yo, rap, yeah, rap. I just all rap night. all night. And, and Sarah goes, you guys are all in your rooms. Like, yeah. to shut him up. And yeah. he's not- Sarah's like, yeah. shut up. We're trying to sleep. I'm like, no. Like yeah. my dad actually moved out to the guest house now. Yeah. He doesn't live with us at home. Yeah. He's like in the backyard because of, because of all of our fighting all the time. Yeah. Wait, so, are you serious? Yeah. He, can't he doesn't sleep. sleep. He, he doesn't can't sleep. sleep. Oh yeah. my god. My dad was gonna take my Xbox away. I was like, no, Baba, I'm, I'm streaming. He's like, I need it for, for TikTok. He's like, I need it. And my dad's like, everything you needed for TikTok. He's like, yeah, I'm I'm doing a video with it tomorrow. He's like, okay, fine. My dad thinks like, do you Xbox believe him? Is needed like, for I mean, I mean, your dad. Your from what I know and meeting your dad for one day. He's a very hard worker he is. Yeah. and you've obviously got that from him. Like I can For tell sure. that you are very consistent with working hard because your dad's like that. Mm-hmm. And so he respects that you have a craft and that it might not be what he's doing, mm-hmm. but, but it's he wants you to keep doing it because he sees that you're monetizing it exactly. now. Yeah. And so the first time that you actually got a brand deal, were you just like over the moon that like all this hard work paid off? When I first got a brand deal, it was for like an app. It was like 400 bucks. And I was like, yo, Baba, I'm making money, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> $400. Be like, I'm and giving my dad's you, like, that's it? I'm giving you until you're 18. When you're 18, like, you're going to drop this rap. No, he stuff. said, that's he it. told no, me. No, he told you. Before don't high give school. Your mom nothing. He said, after. <laughs> he said, I know. If you gra- he he said, when money. you graduate and nothing happens, then you have to focus on college and oh, coming okay, to so work. So you had to, like, you're like, okay. I was like, I knew the time was coming. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to just do TikTok, TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, and then 
it was like a week before quarantine actually hit and we were in lockdown and we didn't go to school I went from 11k to 80k in two weeks wow. and then I was like ooh. <laughs> and then right when quarantine hit I think like the first week or the first two weeks I had three viral videos back to back and I had 100k 200k 300k and it just blew wow. up to a million you hit a million really month. fast we yeah. were all like and then so I, and then I just kept we, I just didn't I never stopped and I still don't stop, yeah the, so. just the difference like in growing up is like me and Sarah we work with our dad and me and Sarah like I've been at work since I was 16, maybe 15, like just yeah. behind the scenes, like working and school and work, school and work. And now it's full-time work, of course, but chemo never had to do that. Like when yeah, I was, and he's the when boy. He, he's 16, he's 17 now and he it's goes a man's out, business. he sleeps over he does and he doesn't go to work. Nah, nah. And I'm like, Bob, like we all had to go to work when we were 16. He should go to work. You'd think and a boy would like be interested like, in a car, do car dealership. Like, and I'm like, <laughs> but you're not a rapper. To, to hit, like, because I feel like I grew up very much you're, like you, like in the sense no. where for me, like being creative was always told that that's not a job. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. Like art, art class is not really a job. It's fun. It's paint and whatever. Yeah. And so now being in this creative world where we have more of an opportunity to outshine a lot of these jobs that everyone thought like that's a real job, you know, mm -hmm. and um, to each its own. I, I feel like every job is respect, respectful mm -hmm. to what you want to do or pursue. But the, what you're doing every day is your craft and it is a business and every day yeah. you work right. hard at it and no matter what if it takes off or doesn't you are working exactly. you know you are working at something that you know is going to be coming out of it exactly. even if you don't do tiktok again you the 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 business part of it is you're learning how to be good at something yep. yeah and and if you go into another job or whatever i mean social media jobs are such a big deal right now you can make so much money just being a social media anything like if you know tiktok you would get hired right away you know yeah so if you're not a creator anymore and you want to go on the back end of it i mean you're for how old you are that's insane that you're yeah. at the level yeah. of, no, of, really of people proud. going to school to try to do this you know yeah. people are now trying to go to school to learn social media that's true. and you are building it's, it's it all on youtube your own. youtube is a, is college it mm. is i agree with you i went to school um and got it my degree and everything because of my mom because she's a teacher and but my dad was like you don't need to go to school you can learn everything just by wow. figuring it out. And yeah. so I had both sides in my family. It's like my dad was like a contractor. He was like, you can build your own business on your own. And then my mom was like, you have to go to school. You have to get a degree. Da, da. So I was like, I'm going to do both. I'm going to please you and then please you. And I ended up realizing that the creative part was what I loved. And I was so sick of being in the box with every job I had. They just were like, stay here, stay here. Don't think outside of it. And it was yeah. so frustrating because mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not who I am. Like, right. I don't work that way. So I really feel like the way you work, your work ethic is just as much as if you do go to a nine to five because you mm -hmm. are working yeah. at something mm -hmm. every no, day yeah, yeah, and you're not yeah. and even too this has been a lot of hours you haven't been paid you mm -hmm. know what i mean I know, yeah, exactly. like that's the thing it's like us too you know like he <laughs> hasn't too. been it's paid for how much work he's been doing mm -hmm. no we're definitely really proud of him especially because like we all had uh, i know i can speak for all of us we all had dreams like you know, when we were kids growing up, Sarah's like, I'm going to be a singer. And I was always like, I'm going to be an actress. And we all like yeah. say these things. And then we never worked for them. We never tried, you know, it was just like go to work and get a, go to school. But he's the only one that actually was like, I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to do what I want to do. Yep. And every year he gets bigger and better and he grows from experience. And I think yep. that's mm -hmm. like something that I, I couldn't do myself. So I we're really proud of him. I felt like everyone was like, everyone helped in a way in a great way Serene was like my manager she still is like she took care of my Instagram everything DM people whatever even then that didn't work like yeah like, <laughs> like I didn't know what the hell I was doing like so she, don't she tried. Yeah, yeah I was just it, like helping him more on the music part of it um, yeah and we definitely like you said like even if you compare it from back in the day even when I was growing up like um, to get a good job it was based on your degree now it's like if you want a job or if you want a business to, oh, to start something on your own it's based on your experience yes exactly. yeah. i've like, been telling them that when thankfully, i was like i mean thankfully, education is still important honest. like 100 percent. i learned so much in school i mean yeah youtube could have taught me but you also network you also learn social skills like there's 
benefits to that too but it's all like the the drive that you have for yourself and then you know where you can you need to make a mistake yeah. here and yeah. there we got scammed so many times so many times. i'll tell you how many times oh. we got scammed like e i'm sure you, you learn as you go he still falls for it sometimes well i like mean also too like <laughs> opportunities like, are exciting especially like you guys have to remember also you're when i was how old are you right now 17. when i was 17 oh my god i would be saying yes to everything and i did and and you just don't know i mean after a certain you know you know yeah fire burns you like yeah. okay but you're so young you're not like 35 or 40 and you you've already been through all this stuff like mm -hmm. you're still learning how to become your brand and if opportunities are coming you're excited you know like yeah, that excitement is always going to be there i kind of like learned that some i just watched a bunch of youtube gary v all these people like and I read a bunch of books before all of this started and the way i think about it now is i can't be excited i have to be more like business you need me yeah you know yeah, in a sense sure. where like no i can help you like i'm like, an asset to yeah. you like I, That's yeah what exactly but like mm -hmm. i try to keep my head uh, like above it like i'm not god i need it i need it i need it yeah because it's gonna bring me down and you know this what I mean? industry is very much about shiny toys you know like you see something you're like oh my gosh that sounds so exciting but I, I agree with you. You have to be very careful. And thankfully, you have a great mom and great family yeah. that like can. Well, actually, you have so many sisters. They're like, yay or nay. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you have a lot of opinions we coming at grounded. you. But um, it is really important to be like really excited about something. But in this industry, a lot of smoking mirrors. There's exactly. a lot of smoking mirrors and a lot of people can take advantage of you, especially when you're young, because they know what triggers you to say yes. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm pay us three hundred dollars and we'll blow you up yeah yeah, City, yeah. please please yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> no yeah. literally please. his his account his instagram account got deactivated for some reason i don't know why he woke like up one 12 morning times. it was like <laughs> it was at one Packed. million and he was freaking out he's like my instagram is deactivated i can't log in they won't log me in and it was deactivated for maybe like two and a half weeks three weeks yeah. and he was freaking out and then um he was on another account his like spam account he has a and lot of impersonating he accounts. found someone that was like yeah bro i can get your instagram back in 12 hours pay me 400 and it comes he's like i need 400 dollars. please venmo the oh guy gosh. venmo the guy that he'll get my instagram that, back okay and that I'm like, is a bad idea hell no. yeah. like you need to his name was tech wizard I, <laughs> it <sounded> real. <laughs> oh really <laughs> real. tech yeah. wizard with no photos or anything yeah, no, he's literally <laughs> like, profile zero. picture was a picture of his hand on a keyboard <laughs> And I was Private like, trust account. me, it looks like he knows how to code. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I never so he's that a, he's like, he's just so important because like, I feel like for people that are out there and are growing on Instagram or anything and getting D DMs and promises and everything, do your research. For it's yeah. so scary. Like, do not show up to Ye someone's house. Do not tell them your address. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. people will promise you the world and be very bad people. The Shady. best way to go about it is do it yourself. Yeah, no one can exactly. make you viral. No one can give no you one followers. It, or if they do, it's yeah, all it's robots. <laughs> yeah. So like you need, you do it yourself. You, you got to work for it. If you yeah. want it, you work for it. You and and, do you, what say, and you've shown and you've said, you know, you got to keep being consistent. And it's interesting because like I even feel like on Instagram, the algorithm is so weird. Like e I, I, I can post at 10 p.m. And, and wake up and be like, whoa, that did really well. But then I'll post at an, a time that it says to post mm -hmm. and it doesn't do yeah, well yeah. at all. Yeah, so I, I never knew about TikTok that you could kind of post whenever. You it's can just kind of more post whenever. And yeah, on TikTok, it's organic reach. It just depends on if they engage with it first, mm -hmm. it'll push it out. Got and it. if that little crowd engages with it, it'll push it. It's all about good content. It really yeah. is just make good content and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously for you, your content has really thrived because you used everyone, yeah. the family. Um, what is your... I mean, what is your next pivot? Do you think you're going to so make more? I content? started another page called the Hestry house okay. and I wanted to create another, another page where you can, we can gain followers and monetize off that as well and create different kinds of content. Just like the hype house or the clubhouse, you know, they have yeah. their separate house. Yep. I wanted to make the Hestry house. But it's just so hard because <laughs> no one wants you're, to do you're it. You're doing it on your own. Okay, well, it's, it's also it's hard because, house. like, a lot of us sometimes don't get along. Like, although we're a family, <laughs> like, they're both mad at me right now. 
So <laughs> my fr- I don't. Who's so mad at you? They're both mad at me. Uh, well, me we're on audio, so who's mad at you? Sarah's. Oh, Sarah's mad at me. Serene's mad at me. So right now, Sophie's like mad at everyone all the time. Why? Me and Sophie don't talk. So wait, are you serious? That why you guys are the farthest away from each other? Sophie is weird. Trust me, she goes up to me. She's like. My friends think you're weird. You're not like Noah Beck. You're weird. I'm like, what, <laughs> what? the freak? <laughs> like, who's Noah Beck? <laughs> so if you just pop it, but random, randomly pop in and be like, I don't like Addison Rae because she scams people or whatever she does. I like Charlie because, and I'm like, who are these like names? Like, I Sophie knows like the whole like weird, <laughs> taking the drama really behind involved. everything. And then she'll just go back into her cave. Like. Wait, so when you guys are mad at each other, do you guys like gang up? Yeah. With you know what I mean, like sometimes oh my yeah, they're God, all getting the up on me. Like, the thing right is, now. we don't apologize to each other. We just start acting nice later. No, it just kind of yeah fades we out. We just kind of faded this out. This is exactly how. So what are you guys fighting? Why why don't you like my sister from another Mister right now? I fought with Sabi. If you guys must know, it was <laughs> last Sunday. We were in the car. Last we, Sunday. We, we, wow. I've been, I've been <laughs> <graduate. laughs> we barely Jeez. seen each other this week. I've barely seen her. Much. Yeah, it was just because you know she Wh- wasn't. What was it about? She wasn't sharing the ox. No. Okay. <laughs> What's the ox? We were the music. Uh, th- we were j- Bluetooth. Okay, so Wait, we were the driving. The auxiliary cord. It wasn't even That's ox. why you had to hold a grudge in for a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was worse than no, that. No, I we were. J- I was on the freeway, and you know when the driver like plays their music, right? I was the driver. Like when I'm in her car, I don't ask to like give me the Bluetooth. You know, it's a lie. It's like connect her phone no it's my i'm in my car like you're driving last me time so I was, she goes Sabi, this fight is so last time stupid. i was driving you back from malibu you made a whole problem because i wanted to play my music and you're like turn it off i have a headache i was like what yeah. i'm gonna play my music no, no he off, he was playing headache. like six nine like, trash like blasted it's a lie like, trash 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 <laughs> trash and i was like please just put something normal like like the, there was trash, 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 whatever. Trash. And then you, her, I sh- Sarah's just, um, wait, why are we mad at each other? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't really remember. I, I know why, but I'm not going to say it. I just know, w- w- I know like yeah, it's hard to we get content. over it. No, this is exactly. Like so when you guys fight, it's hard for you to create content. No, this, they're like, I don't want to do it because I'm mad at her. You know the new, so I'm doing a new thing on TikTok where I put headphones because it's a mic and I just walk up to my siblings and do something, ask them a question. That's literally what I do the most now. And that all started because I got in a fight with everyone. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> we fight and, a lot. <laughs> and We usually fight about clothes, but I worry about my sisters wearing my clothes or my shoes or whatever. Now I have to worry about my brother wearing my stuff. Okay, he's listen, wearing my shirt listen, right now. I don't I don't have clothes. No, I don't this go guy shopping. has no clothes. He wears wear our stuff. If you look at his Instagram, fits, he's actually fits. wearing that same exact shirt in his past like six posts. I'm like, kidding. <laughs> please, like you have two million followers, please change your shirt. Please. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't buy anything ever. He just he like sometimes will wear my mom's things. Like, <laughs> yeah. If it fits, it fits. I started I started <laughs> oh, a new no. thing. I wear Brandy Melville now. It's pretty dope. Oh they got he, big, he steals Sophie's clothes. And yo, she's like, that's my shirt. They got one size fits all. Can't complain, yo. <laughs> he was wearing my Brandy Melville dress as a shirt yesterday. No. Yeah, it says like Los Angeles has a car on it. And it looks like it's a girl's pretty cool. Oh, I remember him wearing that shirt. It looks familiar. I was like, I love you. Anyway, we got, we got in a huge fight and they were like, we're not filming anymore. We're not going to help you. Focus on yourself. Do it yourself. I was like, <laughs> I have to do videos tomorrow. I have to. I have to. So I woke up. I was silent. I was sleeping around the house waiting for Sarah and Serene to get ready for work. Sarah makes her sandwich and sits in the same spot every day. <laughs> I hid the camera somewhere, put on a mic, and I thought it'd be funny if I went up to her and told her I loved her and apologized yeah. to get a reaction. Yeah. So I walked up to her, did that, and she was like, get off me. <laughs> and I was like, that's all I need. <laughs> and then she was like, you were recording? And she said, let me watch it. No, I don't like it. Let's do it again. And I was like, oh. I'm back in <laughs> and I did that to everyone because now he has like a threat like if we don't want to do it again then yeah. it's like he's gonna use that one that we don't oh, like oh got it so, so he, he has a little he bit has his techniques yeah right? he has yeah. a little bit on you a lot yeah. of people are like don't you, you like obviously you see a camera right in your face if it's like there's a camera but he'll hide yeah because I always wondered stuff. was this like real reactions or were you guys all like in on it together real reactions but, different times of the day too because yeah. like I'll be in the kitchen and the living room was like right there like, how are you filming both and they're not, no, like, realizing? At, like, 9 a.m. Saturday at, like, 4 p.m. Yeah. And then like, I come back from work. It's a whole day process. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, you oh, are just no committed. He's and just, like, uh, waiting at the door every day, every day just waiting I for us. The, the funniest, the funniest thing was Savvy said one time. She was like, 
I posted three times on my story. Ooh, I'm set for the day. Like what? <laughs> no. no. Okay, I'm, I'm getting better at it. I, that was before. That was okay. No. Cause like, how is somebody supposed to deal with like randomly getting all these followers? Like, obviously, I know I have to. I tell you, I Sabi, come film, come it, film. Get, let me get you in the video. No, it's no, hard no, no, to no, like. Wait, how many times do you post a day on all platforms? I try I to. Know. Okay, I try to post every day on Instagram. Every like, I post a story every hour or two. I post. 12, 4, and 8 on TikTok. If I don't do 8, I just so do So three TikToks a day? So how many posts all together? How much is that? Like on all platforms? Like three, four posts in total. One on Instagram, three on TikTok, and then every day throughout my day, I just post and on my stories. stories. So like 10 or 12 stories or... Yeah, about. You're not, oh, you're not sleeping and posting, are you? <laughs> nah. <What is laughs> he <that>? probably is. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I just, I just vlog my day on my story. Okay, so you're constantly I'm just constantly, keeping people exactly. alert, like of what yeah. you're doing and everything. Exactly. If I see my my engagement or my impressions go down, I don't like it. So I'm like, okay, I'm grinding this whole week. I'm not like I post every single day just to get it back up. That's and I, so interesting you're saying that because like the more you post on story, like everyone's like, gosh, like because mm. uh, I hear from different influencers, like they're like afraid to post so much or they like they're like, oh, that person posts too much. So are you seeing a higher engagement the more you post? Yeah. So one time I'd post maybe three stories a day, not to be annoying, whatever. <laughs> I'd get like 200 K story views, which is a lot, but there's always more to get. Yeah. Like yesterday I posted all like throughout my day but it's not like i'm posting like selfies and a picture of a car or something I'm yeah posting, he posts like, like entertaining things like he'll do yeah. like like mm-hmm. like you sit and you watch them like the yeah, stories like, or like like i'd wrap all my story i'd do like a, a funny magic trick i'd show the food i'd just be like god's great just acting <laughs> like whatever and then i'd wake up the next day like seven hundred thousand story views and like, how many and for that seven hundred thousand, like how many posts did you do do you think 12 13 okay so i think that's so interesting because a lot of people are so scared to post that much because they're like oh i don't want to be annoying people don't want to see me Mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised how many people really want to see like like you brushing your teeth even if it's like i I told him even if they don't if it's cringy that's even better because they'll actually go back and watch it like Ugh, <laughs> or, the, or they'll share it or something yeah, like look at this guy it. like, right? i hate this guy but it's like thank oh, you, you know, what, <laughs> what, yeah, he, okay. what he also does actually is um he takes his tiktoks and posts them on instagram you know like a weekly recap mm-hmm. but it's because a lot of his um followers are from the middle east yeah and a lot of the countries over there i guess don't have tiktok india got banned. so they're like thank so you so india much for posting it on instagram right yeah so yeah it's their way of i mean it's i just started that because i post 12 14 times a week. So I would 10, you can put 10 posts together on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So I pick my 10 favorite, the ones that perform the best. And I throw it on every Sunday and call it weekly recap. Got it. And those posts would get like 50, 70,000 shares, 3 million impressions. Wow. And I get like 20,000 followers off just one post. And I do that every Sunday because it's crazy. I see a lot of people who do TikTok post their TikToks every day on their Instagram, but I don't want to, be the tiktok guy i'm mm-hmm. more than that you know yeah so i focus on like posting selfies being cute like my sister mm-hmm. say yeah <laughs> making music remixes just vlogging whatever it is uh, on my instagram just to show people like i'm more than a guy that sprays my family with water bottles wait that's so <laughs> smart because i didn't even think about that because yeah i heard india was banned from tiktok so you are utilizing all platforms to show content so people can not miss out because yeah, exactly. If, exactly if i wasn't on tick like since, you know, I, you know, met Sarah and I had to like go seek you out and I wasn't really on TikTok. I like mm-hmm. had to download it and like upload some stuff and be like, I'm on here, <laughs> whatever. But knowing that you are bringing that over to Instagram, like even with me, like following you, I get to see it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go check that out now. Cause yeah. like the, the weekly recap is such a great idea, it is. you know? And it's yeah. a great way to And boost. people appreciate yeah. it. They're like, thank you for posting it on here. But yeah. I think you're the best teacher for how much you should post today and being active on Instagram and stories is Lindsay. Yeah. I look mm-hmm. forward to your stories. Yeah. I really? literally like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I want to watch. And your posts. posts. Especially Wait, when you're on really? vacation. Your posts are so your posts good. They're so good. Like, I who was takes like, your pictures? And you're always on my top like yeah. you're always my next what? story to watch yeah. so i'm like Lindsay is on it like yeah. she's always doing yeah. something <laughs> she's living the life 
She's having fun. She's at lunch. Are and you we, hearing this? And then we also see like how hard you work on your Instagram. Like you're always like, like just on the move. And I'm like, I want to, I need to be like Lindsay. Oh, like yeah. I need to yeah. like yeah. work as hard that's as Lindsay. The, that's your teacher right yeah. there. Wow. You're asking him how many times he needs to post. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I feel like sometimes I'm like, God, does anyone want to hear this quote? <laughs> <laughs> Who no, cares? I like Put whatever. Yeah. Is. No, yeah. adding his head, he's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, yeah, of course. He, he hears from me all. Okay. If anyone one's annoyed it's probably chris because like <laughs> ever since they brought me on to this podcast i was like okay i, I do things 110 percent, and we talk all day because i'm like i want to do this i want to do this with this person i want you know i'm like so like weird about perfecting my craft and so i really respect you because i think it shows you know when you really work hard at something it pays off even like I, I feel like I'm at a point where like I don't care if like someone famous ghosts me. I don't care yeah. if I don't like get acknowledged from this person, whatever. Like I'm so in my zone, and and that you, was, you have to be that way. Yeah, yeah. my friend business. last week he was telling me like, do you collab with people? I was like, honestly, dude, I don't know anyone. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. Anyone. He has like 12 million followers, and he's just like knows nobody. I like, know no he one. He collabs with you guys yeah. though. Yeah. That's who he's collabing with. And yeah. then he was like, well, why don't you hit up people? And I was like what am I supposed to say? Hey, I make TikToks. Like, come, let's do something. But He's like, dude, it is like, you know, yeah, but it's an opportunity. You need to get, like, I did. Happens. I did. Um, you know, connect you with two really big people. Yeah. You need to get on that. Yeah. I, I talk. Yeah. You do. <laughs> you did, I mean, didn't you bring they're all for it. You mm. know what I mean? They have the same mindset as you and it's really important to collaborate. I mean, obviously you have a family that can help you. So that's, what's so great. Cause you guys all are building together yeah. and it is what we want to see. Like I always want to see you guys. all. I know it. the family aspect is just perfect and it'll always work. And there's yes. so much to do with it. It's just the matter of getting, getting them, them to on do board it. more and more. Yeah. But like I th the but history I think house page I made, I wanted to s focus on doing, I wanted to turn it into a YouTube channel as well, but I wanted to make it like a reality series. Yeah but it's just like so time consuming and it's hard for them and, it's, and you guys they don't all want have to, to we're in, in a yeah, fight i don't yeah, want to do it yeah. it's a bunch of stress but that's what yeah. i was thinking i was like you know you have the family aspect when when they're available and and for everyone it is really important to collaborate with other yeah. artists that yeah. are in your it's genre beneficial to both yeah because you know what you might actually get i, I mean it's possible to get higher than you are now just mm -hmm. based on like bringing in someone else yeah. outside who has a different audience, yeah. which that's the importance of collaboration is they have a different audience than you do and you merge and it, they're actually, you know, it's almost like your own explore page because they're other. finding out about you, you know, and I, I found out about you because of Sarah. Mm -hmm. So like if if say for instance like a Didi or Hannah Stocking or someone like collaborates with you anyone that's watching Hannah that's never seen you yeah. is going to be it's like more exposure for you who is this person you yeah. know yeah. and that's like a whole nother yeah group Especially of if, people like, if Hannah's really big and then like my thought would be like oh if he's with Hannah he's big too yeah so like for sure eventually you just you grow off each other but you that's give how her, everybody you, yeah. you help each other yeah and they they also too have this mindset of every day every day every day we do this every day yeah and they did the same my, i i almost feel like after this podcast you need you need to go hit up who i hit i, I connected you with i do and it's make just, a TikTok. it's it's like hey What's, what are you doing do it let's just let's film it. this yes. week i'm down yes. and then no one will reply you have to follow <laughs> up like, that or you have they done up. that it's you have happened. to follow up but you know what honestly this is the thing you have to remember everyone will do that because we're all busy and especially in this space and you know this too yeah. they're all working every day they've already got their day scheduled their plan schedule everything you need to remember that it's consistency hit them up again yeah. remind them that you're here that you're ready to work that you'll drive wherever they are what whatever you have to do to make it happen yeah and people want to see that too you know what i mean like i have i have some people dming me going can you be on my podcast and i'm like you know what I respect that you actually had the balls to hit me up and mm. yes, I will be on there, you know? So just remember that we're all human. And, and to me, I think ghosting is kind of funny because I forget sometimes to respond to people yeah. and I'm not doing it on purpose. I just like have so much going on. Yeah. So I would never always look at it as like they're ignoring you. It's more like they looked at it and then they went to do what they had to do and then they forgot, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? So 
um, for anyone who's out there trying to create content, just always be persistent. I, I would just be fearless too with yeah. reaching out to people that are creators because you are huge, mm -hmm. you know, like in your own as like um, your own sense of the word of, of an influencer, you are huge, you know? How do you do it to the point where you don't look like you're so needy and God, this guy's just annoying, you know? Uh, that's true. I mean, you, you, I guess you, you need to read the room a little bit. I mean, if you texted them 42 times yeah. I, and they didn't <laughs> respond, I think there's a big deal there. But maybe even too, maybe going at a, a little bit lower level of not the highest person, but collaborating with someone that's that, that you can get attainable mm -hmm. and then just building that rapport, mm -hmm. you know? Because like right now, you've only collaborated with your family and you haven't really collaborated with anyone else. Mm -hmm. So he a couple oh, TikTokers, you have? a couple TikTokers. Just two TikTokers. I haven't posted them on my page. I've just helped okay, them on theirs. Okay, because I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't seen anyone. So, oh, you've helped them. Got it. So they made, tic the, I mean, you posted them once, no? <coughs> the guy that goes, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just once. The guy that does that thing. Yeah, just once. <laughs> well, I, I think what you should do is like, maybe not like, you know, Maybe I should, like, for me, like, okay, don't reach out to American apparel, you know, yeah. reach out to, like, you know, like, like something that's, like, attainable, and someone's going to want to work with you because you have such crazy algorithms. So I think just starting there and then proving that you've worked with other people, I think also, too, they want to see that, you know? Because, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, family's easy because you're with them all the time, so. Yeah. yeah, collaboration is important. You just have to really push it, like. Yeah, you can't wait but for I someone to reach out to you. But I want to collab with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's collab. Like you don't. That's what you'll say today, and then tomorrow you'll be like, "That's yeah." No. <laughs> you guys gotta do it too. You guys have to commit as well. Okay, so you started wanting to do your music career. Yeah. And then you just got into TikTok. Yeah, but then like, you have to think about the future. Like, how long could this go on for? For sure. I know it could go on for a really, really long time. It's just a matter of how we go along yeah. with it Does that I, make sense? I love that you're 17 thinking this will end soon I don't want it <laughs> what to am end. i doing next <laughs> you're like i, I don't, don't want it to end. it's because he doesn't want to go to finish school he's like i'm he's dropping out of college I, i'm literally doing all his homework and his work well, and honestly no, you, you'd be my dad's like favorite son because my dad didn't believe in school yeah. so he's like just learn everything like you, you can't have learn to be this in, in school it. you can't that, and that's true and i wasn't i mean i got my degree but i was barely in school and all my teachers would just write off my grades for me. And I actually got an award for best student in fashion. Wow. And I was like, I'm never here. How did I get that? But it was <laughs> oh because God. I was working so much and building my dreams outside of it that they're like, yeah. you do more than the kids here. So, I mean, you're right. You can't teach this at school. Like you would be teaching the teacher. Exactly. For sure. well, what's your, what's your ultimate goal? Is it the music? ultimate girl goal? Girl, girl, <laughs> the the ultimate girl. girl. Yeah, who's your ultimate girl? Okay. <laughs> I really think goal. a reality going down that road was a no, great idea. No, but for idea. you, like, for do my, you still oh, want okay. to do music? Out of all the people that want a reality show, my dad wanted it the most. Really? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's just every comment Did you I read. you see my, my dad? Yeah. Every comment I read is at Netflix, at Netflix. When are these people going to get a reality show? I would watch these people all day. Oh, reality, reality, For reality. Sure. It's all that comes to read. I'm like, why aren't we doing it? Are you guys okay with, uh, I mean, because reality TV is not really reality TV. Yeah. It's very scripted. Yeah, we know. So are you guys okay with that? Are you guys okay with maybe having someone tell you what is funny? Mm. Yeah, I mean. Mm, it's a tough you one. You know what I mean? As long as there's a, it's always care. like a twist to <laughs> who we are. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, you don't want I mean, obviously, you, if it's not like like stupid stuff so that's the ultimate goal for you that's like the next for us thing no i didn't uh, ask for us i said for you for like, me you do my music? ultimate music? goal is i want i need a i want to blow up off music yeah that's what you want to blow off of music yeah. and i i i obviously i know someone who's very similar in your space where he's been really funny and he's like been tapping into music tapping into music and he's been doing such a great job with it which is mark donner mm -hmm. um and i feel like he had the same issue he was like i want people to take me serious i want people to know that like yeah i'm funny but also my music is really important to me and i think that he's a really good example that it can happen you know that yeah, music sure. can no matter how funny you are you can be taken serious in that um i'm trying to be like drake okay <laughs> okay uh, relax pushing it just bring it down like, like 10 steps <laughs> 
but yeah. you're acting like DJ Kali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, thanks, guys, for coming out. And I know it was like, what, like an hour drive to get here? Yeah, 45 yeah, minutes. Okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. Is, this a, is this a good time to say thank you to Kimo? Oh, do I say thank you to them? Or? No, they say thank oh, you to yeah. you. Thank, thank, you, thank you for my Instagram I don't think followers. Do you ever say thank you to <laughs> us, though? I always say thank you. We'll say thank you to Lindsay for having us today. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Lindsay. Yeah. Thank, you, Lindsay. You're off. thank you, guys, thank for you, coming Lindsay. on. Thank you, Lindsay. the best. Oh, I, say. I love you guys. <laughs> thank you, Mama. Lindsay's the real influencer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.